what's up, boy BB? Welcome back to my black universe. So, see, I got a new toy. Finally, pulled the trigger. I got a gimbal. Of course, it's DJI. This is the DJI uh, OM5. Could got the three for cheaper and the four for um, the three for cheapest, the four for cheaper. But I want the newest technology because I want to make sure um, whatever I get was going to uh, last for quite some time. So right now we're grabbing a stand because the feet that this come with, the little tripod thing it comes with, it doesn't keep it tall enough so it can use the face tracking stuff, the face tracking technology because uh, we're going to clean this up. Um, I'm going to call this week so I won't have time to do it. But for no shade November, we're going to clean this up. Again, clean, crispy, and we're going to do it all with Cut Buddy products. We're going to use the Cut Buddy uh, Plus. We're going to use the trimmers. We're going to use the Bald Buddy for this. And we're also going to use the uh, outline pencil because I don't want to push my beard line down. So we're going to line everything up, film it. I'll, um, I'll speed up the footage so it you know won't be for hours. Uh, critical parts I'll slow down so you guys know what I'm doing, and it'll be a voiceover from this point on. That way, um, I don't have to worry about trying to match the audio and the video and slowing it down. Certain parts would be weird and kind of out of place. So, buckle up. That's what we're talking about, buckle up, family. So here we are. We're gonna give you an overview. Of what my head look, look at that atrocity. Y'all see that mess? I hear it growing everywhere, but I need it to grow. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's better than no shade. November, we do what we gotta do. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And if you look right here, bam, I'm showing you all the products we're gonna use to get it right. We have the shaving cream, we got the trimmers, and we got the ball buddy. So, I did. I grabbed the little, you know, thumb brush, and um, just kind of brushed the beard and the sideburns down. Just kind of get them out of the way. And what we did is we took the trimmer, and we used the trimmer to uh, clean off the excess, the bulk of the hair that was going on my head. Uh, the ball buddy, I believe, would be able to take care of it. I think it just take more passes, and I would have to clean it, uh, and then make it a longer video. And I was like, well, this works smarter, not. Harder, I be the egg on. So you know, I'm knocking off that bulk, that extra unnecessary that I need on my scalp. You know what I'm saying? We gotta keep it fly. We gotta keep it pimping, pimping. Because it is what it is. Cause we're doing the thizzle, you know what I'm saying? We're getting our thug thizzle and making it work. Getting all that bulk off before we uh, switch over to the bald buddy. So, yeah, man, we're making it do what it do. Now we're cleaning out the hairs. This is hairs out the uh, out the trimmer, and then what I like to do is I like to use my hand because I don't have my three part mirror with me right now at the time of the film. Uh, I like to you know put my hand back there and see where it's kind of uneven and more bulk at certain places. Just kind of go over there with the trimmer because these trimmers are very forgiving. When I say they're very forgiving, they don't bite like uh, let's say a bevel. You know, a bevel super sharp. So you know if you're not careful, you have a masterful hand. Uh, them joints are gonna bite. I'm gonna bite you like a bow. Yeah, that I, I can't do the voice, but y'all remember that TikTok? That was hilarious. So here we are. We are moistening the scalp. Moist. <laughs> now we're moistening the scalp, and um, we're gonna get ready to use the shaving cream. Or actually, it's act really an aftershave cream. It's really an aftershave cream, but. I use it as shaving cream. Uh, you can use your own shaving cream, you know, personal shaving cream, whether you want to use like bevel 
or some other brand it's up to you whatever's going to work well for your scalp because uh, the whole point is to use the tool and not have any bumps you know nobody wants the bumps uh, granted it's not going to have as many bumps as razor bumps but until you train your scalp for this tool uh, you're going to have some type of razor bumps especially when you get towards the more sensitive areas of the back of the head like uh, where the neck and the head meets um, I personally uh, if I'm not careful I can get bumps right there so you know just being smart using the product uh, the way it's supposed to be used it's intended to really 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 get a nice clean head shave without those bumps because nobody wants them bumps man. you just got to be smooth you want to be nice you know what I'm saying for the ladies yes sir So, you know, right there at that moment, what I do is, um, when I want to clean up the hair is I leave it going and I just kind of submerge the blades underneath the water and it just literally, the hairs just literally come out. It's so much easier than trying to, you know, pull up the, uh, tops of the blades and then do it in like that. When I just let it run, it runs it smooth and gets all those hairs out so I can use it again at a later date and time. So, you know, what we're doing right now is, uh, we're just kind of getting off the excess cream. Um, and then use my hand once again to kind of fill the the high spots because um, I got a big old head and when you're using the tool like this sometimes you'll miss an area so I try to double back and make it do what it do baby I make it do what it do baby <laughs> yeah man so here we are using the brush and now is time to get into this beard got the scalp all nice and shiny smooth cleaned up i ain't over here looking like somebody's great great grandfather uh we doing what we supposed to do we in our bag we're handling our thug this you know what i'm saying we thuggy bopping on these haters right now you feel me so um this time you know what i'm saying uh because i'm using all products from the cut buddy link in the description it's my affiliate link it helps support the channel and you can get you some dope product you get all the tools that i have right here i think all save for the cut buddy plus which is what i'm using to help create the beer line that i want because nobody wants to come off of no shade in november and push their beer line down that is not the play that's not what we do around these parts so we're using the tool we got the uh, barber's pencil, which is part of the kit. We got the Cut Buddy Plus. So, bam, listed in line. And um, I'm really taking my time, even though it's sped up. This is sped up footage, so it looks like I'm just breezing through stuff. I'm not. I'm actually taking my time because I want these lines to be as symmetrical as possible. Uh, symmetry is what makes a beard attractive uh, to women. You know what I'm saying? The beard makes your face more symmetrical, which makes you more attractive to women um and i like women's i like women's this is <laughs> so you see bam uh I, I i'm weird i can get one side perfect and i try to do the other side and i can't get it perfect like i see the line i see i get myself reference points like from this part of my ear to this part of the corner of my mouth it it just i don't know and i gotta do it like multiple times on the other side so that's something weird about me. If somebody knows what that is, explain it to me. You know, they don't tell you incompetence because you know some of y'all are jerks. But yeah, man. So we're taking the trimmers and what we're doing is just kind of coming down towards the line that I've drawn in uh, because I'm going to use a razor here in a moment. But I just really want to get off the um, straggly hairs that are kind of all over my face and uh, clean it up going to the line so I can have a nice. Um, even surface to work with and then um, hit it with the razor. You know? So we know what we're doing. And, um, I, I like to, especially with, I, I do like that trimmer because it's not so bulky. I can kind of hold it over my face and kind of angle it to where I can see what's going on in the mirror. Do a pretty good job without worrying about if I'm going to drop it or push it down too hard and uh, taking the chunk out of my beard. So I'm very, very fortunate. Very for this product being the way it is the profile so I can use the effect of this to get down uh, down to the line before I use the razor or so. yeah that's 
see that back and forth head moment. I'm just really looking. You know how the line's drawn in. Uh, I might notice a discrepancy. You know, you may notice a discrepancy uh, in your beard. So the last thing you want to do is just keep going and going through that line. And then you find out you got one beard sitting around at like a 30 degree angle on, this one, on your left side and on the right side. It's like a 40 degree angle. It's not a good look. It's never a good look. How your beard looks real crazy and stuff like that. So, so yeah, we are moving forward to using the razors. So the razors I have are from when I bought a, a pack up from Bevel. You can get that at Target or Walmart or online. I believe you can get it off of Amazon. So just choose where you want to get it. And um, yeah, I went in and I just got mine from uh, Target, I believe. All the mine's out from Target. You can order online. So what I do is I just break it in half. And um, this straight razor, I'm not necessarily a fan of uh, Just as me. Uh, I don't think nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's a little hard to use. And I understand it being uh, very compact, but I prefer a traditional razor, a uh, straight razor rather. And because of that, you know, I'm able to better leverage uh, how I'm coming into the beard and not pushing my beard line down or anything like that. Because I'm used to it, you know, I've been using it for so long. So that is something that, um, I, I, that's a personal thing with me. So, you know, you might have better experience with the uh, more compact razor from the Cut Buddy. So, and make sure you pull your skin, all right? Do not, do not just use razor on your face because it happens the razor will start to bounce off your skin and you will cut your face. You will. No ifs, ands, buts about it. So one thing I would like to stress is that uh, I continuously use the brush to lay the hair down. Now don't just hit it with your razor because uh, you could have certain parts of your beard line, the top of your beard line. Uh, those hair follicles could be up and then you try to shape everything based off of that. Then you go to brush your beard line down and your beard is crooked. It's not even now. That's the last thing you want. You know what I'm saying? My black universe. My black universe. So I did what I had to do. Went ahead and kept brushing down the top of the line so I can use that razor. And I was like, man, you see, I hit it. And then hit it with the brush. You know what I'm saying? Just get it nice. Just get it nice for you guys. Nah, for me. <laughs> but yeah, take your time. Make sure you stretch your skin. I will reiterate. I will reiterate. I will reiterate stretch your skin pull the skin stretch it so the blade can move as smooth as possible if you do not do that you will cut yourself you will cut yourself down now see now this is the one this is the reason why I really don't like uh, this straight razor sir it's because uh, it doesn't really have the weight and have that I'm used to nor is it as long as the uh, straight razors I'm used to, so it, it's a little bit more difficult to manage. So, so I'm gonna go back to that. I just want to show you guys you can get a nice look using all the Cut Buddy products. So, if you're saying I don't know if I should get this kit, you can get that kit. Um, I did use the clippers. But I used them on my sons, so I've been cutting their hair. I've cut their hair with that. Uh, the clippers twice so um, I did a lot better the second time I didn't film it but I got to do that picture so you can see that for sure for sure now what I'm doing with the trimmers is I'm hitting the bottom of the mustache and what I'm doing is I'm angling the trimmers so they can hit all the hairs going to you know you kind of look at it 3D and you want to hit all the hairs from the top going down to the top of your lip so you can get that uniform look instead of trying to come up and towards the, the uh, mustache. You can uh, hit it directly from the top going down to give it that uniform look. So that's what I want and that's what I got. You know 
know what I'm saying? I have to check myself out of the camera. Just looking real quick. Observe yourself. And don't be afraid to take a moment to look. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to try to rush through it. Because uh, I don't know how fast your, your beard hair or your face hair grows. But if it grows like mine, it's going to take it forever. So rushing through it is not going to solve anything. Take your time. Do it right the first time you did. And you get those nice crispy lines like I got. Y'all see it. You see that crispiness. On my mama's oldest son. You see that crispiness. Yes, sir. Yeah. So crispy. Until next time, peace and black empowerment.